So in this video, we're looking at the major daily volatility. We are going to download, we downloaded the data from Yahoo Finance and I used Stata as the econometric software and the entire study is intended as a financial fun facts. So don't make any decisions based on it. And uh, data seem to have small gaps here and there. So it's not 100% uh, complete. Um, data is, or data are S&P 500 index and the starting date is 1962. The reason that the other videos are for 1950 on, and this one is 1962, is because we need the high and low uh, for intraday prices and um, any data before 1962 did not have that. So that's why this actually starts in 1962. This is what we're calculating. We're taking the daily high and daily low and dividing it by daily close. So that gives us the size of the candle, if you will. But uh, in, in other words, the daily volatility, how high and how low we actually moved compared to the daily close. This is the state of code. You can simply copy paste. Again, the only issue is that the hat above the G uh, is actually a hat before the G. So other than that, it's just a copy paste, very straightforward. And then you install the fat check of quotes for my website and that's about it. So number 10, we had a daily high minus low divided by the close of 9.28% on September the 29th, 2008. And number nine, 9.39% 9 on October the 13th, 2008. And then number eight, 9.67% November the 20th, 2008. And um, I just want you want to remind you that there are actually circuit breakers in the market that would trigger if the market were to drop so much. And having a nine or 10% seems to be uh, for these dates. Um, and you know, when you look at the data, there are a lot of dates actually uh, where the volatility is about eight or 9%. And um, that was very interesting to me. Number seven, 9.98% on October the 15th, 2008. Number six, 10.13% on October the 28th, 2008. Number five, 10.35% on November the 13th, 2008. And like I said before, 2008 must have been a significantly heartburning uh, financial year. And you know these dates, you know, where you have such a volatility intraday, um, must have had a lot of people scared. Number four, 10.56% on October the 9th, 2008. Number three, 10.74% October the 10th, 2008. And then, yeah, 2008. And number two, 12.31%. And again, I wanna remind you, this is the intraday volatility, high low divided by the close on October the 20th, 1987. And finally, number one, you have an intraday volatility of 25.74% on October the 19th, 1987. Ooh, I'm so glad I wasn't trading that day. I'm not that old. <laughs> So, but it, it must have been a, a crazy day. So anyways, please let me know if you have any questions and thank you for watching.